going around the globe for the gospel of Jesus Christ. Welcome to God's View. Hello and welcome to God's View. We're so glad you joined us. Remember, while we're going through the show, please call those prayer lines. Don't go through things alone. You know, you are anonymous. We don't know a thing. We don't need to know who you are, what your name is, anything. Just call and get your breakthrough. You know, when David um, was in battle, and he won one of the battles. He called that place Bel Perez, per mm. Persum, Bel Persum, and that meant God of the breakthrough because God broke through there for them and spared them and won the battle. And God wants to break through for you too. And you know, sometimes it's just a prayer way, faith, just believing God. You know, because faith plus declarations equals a great platform in the kingdom of God. <laughs> great breakthrough is what it does because you do have to decree the word, but you have to have faith and expect it and believe it and all that kind of stuff. So call those prayer lines. 307-637-PRAY. That's 7729. Don't go through things alone today. I'm Charlene back to Marion, your God's View host. This is, um, <laughs> they almost called it Priscilla again, <laughs> Stephanie Besh, and this is Priscilla Pruitt and Lana Gardner. So yeah. we're so glad you joined us. You know, this is a ministry show, and we never know what God's going to do, but, you know, we'd really like to kind of, since we're launching out this year, really pray for some things for you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, because God has such great plans. But as I was saying with, with the prayer line, you know, you have, to, you have to have faith and believe it and expect it. God wants you to have faith. And he actually is releasing a fresh fire of faith to his people and all you got to do is say God I want that I want that fresh fire faith I yeah. need faith to get through to what I need to get through I uh, you know because without faith it's impossible yeah. to mm -hmm. please God and he didn't say that to hurt you or to say make you feel so bad because you trying to have faith and you really are trying to believe he said it because he knew the lack of results in your life that it would be if you didn't learn how to move in that realm of faith he wants to see the very best for you, and that's the way his kingdom was set up. So I pray right now, yes. Father, for everybody listening. And God, I just speak <clears throat> yes. over their lives a fresh fire of faith. I cancel every demonic spirit of doubt and unbelief that has tried to come and settle on the promises of God, the things that you have spoke to them over their destinies, <clears throat> Father God, and I release a fresh fire of faith. Lord God, you are the God, your word says, that calls things that are not as though they were. Right. So I call things that are not as though they were pertaining mm -hmm. to their destiny. Mm -hmm. Lord, and right now I just stir up with that faith that you believe again, that, that dream that yes. you laid down yes. that you pick up again, that vision yeah. that you laid That's down right. that you pick up again. And you just rock it with that faith and let it explode and manifest into what God really spoke and said that it would be. You laid it down, pick it back up and do what God has called you to do because he is the God who calls things that is not as though they were and he's doing that over what he has spoken over your life. You know, when God speaks a prophetic word, some, you get such a sense like, there's times when I go and I minister to people and they start crying and they go, God, how'd you know that? And, and everything else. And they just, they just feel this such uh, a strong presence, almost like they're being rocked in the arms of the mm, Father. Yeah. And the Lord told me one time that the reason why that happened, Charlene, is because I've already spoke that over them. I spoke it over them when they were on the potter's wheel. I said and spoke and molded everything they would ever be and do. And so when a prophet or apostle or evangelist or whoever, just the gift of prophecy, mm -hmm. not even an office, speaks what heaven truly has yeah. spoken over them, he said it's like a lullaby. He said, it's like a lullaby when somebody was so peaceful and in their mom or dad's arm that loved them and was speaking things over their lives. It was like a lullaby. It brings back to remembrance that God spoke that. And it's 
it's just some kind of explosion and it just connects with them and then they stirred up to believe God again and knowing that God spoke that God said that and so we have a God that has spoke everything that we'll ever do and be predestined it find hope in that today again yes. find just encouragement in that today because man he wants an army that's going to start marching forward again and taking possession of what he is predestined and ordained for them he wants this army to start taking the kingdom back because he wants his Amen. kingdom come and his will to be done mm -hmm. and it's up to his army here on <clears throat> earth his bride to march forth and push back the gates of hell mm -hmm. and do what he's called you to do amen amen mm -hmm. amen that's good you know i feel like god wants to give somebody out there a new immune system and you know god mm. gave us god gave us an immune system um, to protect our body from germs from viruses from bacteria from fungi and toxins um, but somebody out there their immune system mm -hmm. hasn't been working accurately or correctly and you've been constantly sick and so God said he wants to give out Lord. new immune yes. yes. Oh, and so it. if that's you, just put your hands there and say, Lord, I receive yeah. it. I pray over you right now in the name of Jesus. I thank you, God, for a whole new immune system that it will cleanse her body, that it will protect her, that nothing will enter her lungs, that she will not get sick, yeah. um, that he will not get sick, that they will be completely whole, that you created our bodies to fight against these diseases and sicknesses. And we call it forth right now in the name yes. of Jesus. Yes. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord, Jesus. that you died Thank for you, this. Lord. That's right. And, you know, we were just reading, um, I just thought about this. We were just, we just found out the last um, few minutes ago about the speaking in tongues. Yes. Yeah. And yeah. they said that um, yeah. Dr. Carl Peterson, it was, that he did a study. He was a brain, um, I believe, like a nurse, neurosurgeon or something, a brain doctor. And mm. um, he did a study on speaking in tongues and the correlation between um, getting sick and speaking in tongues. And it turns out if you speak in tongues mm -hmm. more often, that you get sick 35 to 40%. Well, you, your yeah, immune like system is boosted 35 to 40%. The immune system is? Yeah, it's boosted. Okay, well, and that's and we, our immune system, when it's broke down, that's why you get sick. And so he did that study. And when you pray, and so I say, <laughs> Start yeah. praying in the spirit. Yeah, because amen. Because if That's you okay. have yes. a weak immune system, he said literally the study showed yes. 35 to 40 percent boost in the immune system. You don't have to take a pill. You don't have yeah, to drink a vitamin. Insane. You just pray. Just yes. Pray in tongues. Amen. In your language. Right. If you don't have it, ask That's the Holy right. Spirit to give it to you. That's right. And he will give it to you. Yeah. You know, I saw this man on television that had... Uh, gone to heaven. God allowed him to be in heaven for a while. And as he was walking, he passed the room and he saw all these body, body parts. parts. Mm -hmm. And he asked the angel, what is this? And the angel said, these are body parts waiting for God's yeah. people to call them down. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you know, the other day I had I had really serious palpitations in my heart and I was getting so weak. And I remember that show, and I just said, Lord, if that's what I need, a new yeah. heart, I receive it in Jesus' yeah. name. And the next day, I was feeling great. Wow. And I, Thank you, Jesus. I was at the wow. point of even calling it specialist because wow. it was bad. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but God is good. That's yeah. right. Wow. That's mm -hmm. right. Praise God. Yeah, because I we get attacked. Go ahead. No, yeah. we get attacked, mm -hmm. and so we got to believe mm -hmm. for healing, That's too. right. Yeah, mm -hmm. We have and, to, and, our and pastor, declare it. The pastor at our church, he was having heart trouble, and going to the doctor back and forth, the hospital, the doctor, the specialist, blah, blah, blah. and uh, we prayed for him mm -hmm. that God would put in a new heart. He is riding his bike 20 miles a day. Wow. He is, <laughs> yes, he he is. about 50 yes. yes. pounds. Yes. He feels like a million and, and the authentic, In the authentic God. Yes, I that's right. It. We just had one of our pastor's grandpa was going in for heart surgery and prayed, and he didn't have to have heart surgery. Yeah. 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 So, no I mean, yeah. So I mean, God I'm hearing moving. the miracles all yeah. over. And yeah. God is God saying that he miracles. is going to yeah. do miracles. What, yeah. where the people are authentic and hungry and believing him. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you, he's doing it. We're just hearing yeah. it all over. All over, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. And I heard, too, as we were preparing today, um, skin disease. Mm. And I know in Luke 17 where the people, the, the tin men had leprosy. 
and yeah. Jesus told them to go show themselves to the yeah. priest. And sometimes we have to go to a doctor, but what I love is they, they would go, and on the way they were healed because of their obedience. One came back and thanked him, and I believe it said, yeah. your faith has made you whole. So mm -hmm. I, think, I believe they were healed. When he said thank you, I believe the, the missing limbs and stuff grew back. That's just something mm -hmm. I think about. He got the fullness of it. Mm -hmm. um, I think they were all healed, or it said it was. But I love that they would have the before and the after. Mm. You know, the proof, like Jesus healed. Yes, yes. This is, I ha in, in the natural, this was going on in my body, and now I'm healed. And so I was just thinking when I heard skin disease that Jesus heals all. Mm -hmm. And it says, I will restore your health and I will heal your wo wounds. And I saw wounds on skin. So when I read that, I'm going to read it over you again. Jeremiah yeah. 30, 17 says, I will restore your health and I will heal your wounds, declares the Lord. And then in Psalms 103, um, 2, to 2 and 3, it says, Let my whole being, so this is just being declared over you, let my whole being bless the Lord and never forget all his good deeds, how God forgives all your sins and heals all your sickness. And right now, in Jesus' name, I thank you from the thank top you, of your Father. head to the tip of your toes, your skin is being healed. And yes. whether it's caused from something in, internal or something that is on the outside, Lord, that person is created by you fearfully and wonderfully made knitted together in their mother's womb and you created them without that skin disease and so lord i thank you that now they're just being washed white as snow mm -hmm. and getting new skin and um that they can breathe again and that the, yes. the shame and the um hiding that they had because of that they didn't want anybody to see their skin lord i thank you that now now they will have freedom to move mightily and go out and declare the works of the Lord because yes. they are healed. Yes. And I just got back from a conference, so this, this is proof, and there was a girl that just came from an a awful home of abuse and stuff, mm -hmm. just broken, just crying out for anything, mm -hmm. and had gotten into sin and just a, a wrong way of life, and somebody just said, please, just come with me to this conference. So she came, and she had been cutting herself. And that, that is mm -hmm. torment. That is of the devil. Yeah. The man that was um, demon-possessed in the Bible took stones and cut himself. So if you yeah. are doing that, be healed in Jesus' name yes. and be yes. free from that. That is not of the Lord. Yes. Yes. There is no yes. self-hatred yes. in the Word of God. And Jesus loves you. God created you for such a time as this. Mm -hmm. So I ask that you would be free and learn to love yourself mm -hmm. and love Jesus because He loves you. Amen. But the cool thing is, is she got up and... She had taken a picture of what she had done, and she had carved all the way across her stomach. She had cut. It was still bleeding. It looked like a horror movie picture. That's how bad it was in big letters, and it was just all scratched up, and it said the word lesbian. Oh! But listen, she went forward, and she got prayer, and she got healed, delivered, Instant. saved, and touched. Wow. The next picture, she said she didn't hurt, and she lifted it up, and she had fresh skin. Completely, she stood up in front of all those people and declared oh. Jesus, and she was completely healed. Wow. I just want to say that miracles are happening. Oh. Nothing is impossible wow. with Jesus, and all you have yes. to do is say yes to him. Jesus, heal me, and, and you know what? He heals yes. today. He does. Jesus He's Christ, insane. Hebrews 13, it says, wow. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, God's and forever. The same Amen. Jesus that's in the Bible, the same Jesus that walked this earth over mm -hmm. 2,000 years ago, and it said he went about and healed all, is still healing all today, and he loves you, and, and he is healing you. Yes, yes. and God, yeah. and yes. God, I'll tell you, Scripture backed yeah. that up, Mark mm -hmm. 5, 5, night and day yeah. among the tombs, and in the hills he would cry out and cut himself with stones. Mm -hmm. And that's the thing, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. uh, everything mm -hmm. was in the Bible and talked about, and Jesus cast that demon out of them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's a demon of seizures, and if you're having seizures right now, mm -hmm. we cast those yes. uh, demons of seizures out of you yes. right yes. now. Yes. Because yes. Uh, yes. that the one uh, father said, Jesus, please, he come and beg, please come help my son. For um, he seizes and he falls on the ground, the demons, and he foams mm -hmm. at the mouth. And, and Jesus went and cast that devil out too. And he was totally healed. God wants to heal you. Yes. This yes. is your time. This is yes. your hour. This Amen. is your season. This is your moment. Mm -hmm. This is your second to be healed. Yes. Jesus is a now God. Don't, you know, he's not, 
in uh, yesterday. He's not in one second ago. That's right. He's in now. And if you will just come into agreement with him right now, he's waiting to heal you. He wants to heal you. And I see a, a leg um, just really, mm. really messed up, a right mm. leg. And it is so big and bandaged up because you've had a few surgeries. And there was something, the accident really just kind of almost shattered your mm. leg. But God says he's healing it. And so you just receive that, receive that right now. Yes. And, you know, because the doctor says it's never going to be the same again because they had to put this pin, that thing, this, all kinds of stuff. But guess what? God just is going to blow all of that out of the water. Amen. Out of the Amen. water. You know, yeah, the Betty Baxter story when in 1970s mm -hmm. when she yeah. was all twisted up yes. in a mess. God totally even told yeah. her and her mother the day and the time that he was going to heal her after mm. suffering. Mm. I mean, suffered for years. It wasn't just like, you know, and they just kept believing God and loving yes. God. And, and, you know, I mean, it was, they, wow. they finally had to strap her to the bed because yes. she would see so bad and just Ugh. fall out. And her pain was so tremendous. Mm. And she was just, she, when she sat down, her arms hit the ground because that's how twisted she was. Oh, her head Jesus. would only hit here, mm. hit her knees. And God said, you know, and they were so faithful. They called neighbors, everybody, and said, God said he's going to heal me on this day at 3 o'clock. You want to all come over and see it? Wow. And they yes. did. God honored that. That's amazing. Yeah. That and is guess faith. what? That is faith. Yeah. He healed her. Praise the God. And then she went on to preach the gospel and do yeah. all wow. of these signs, wonders, yeah. and miracles. And God wants to heal you. Yes. That's you right. Know, it's yes. not, nothing's too hard for him. He's no respect. Right. You know, person. people say, oh, because the doctors have spoken so long over you. Mm -hmm. and, and, and it's been going on so long. You think it's not because yeah. you've believed that lie. You have hooked up with circumstances and you've believed that instead of God. I tell you, turn it around, rebuke the devil, and watch That's you right. Yes. And Amen. God really has... I mean, there's somebody he keeps pointing out and just bringing to my memory, and um, he has somebody out there that needs new eyes that has mm. a disconnected cornea. Is that is that a thing, right? I'm sure. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. and yeah. A disconnected cornea, and God wants to give you new eyes, and God keeps highlighting you to me. And so I looked up some verses, and in 2 Kings 6, 17, I'm going to pray this over you, then Elisha prayed and said, O Lord, I pray, open his eyes that he may see. Mm. And the Lord opened the servant's eyes, and he saw, and yeah. behold, the mountain was full of horses and chariots mm. and fire all around. And that, that was 2 Kings 6, 7. I want you to keep praying these over yourself. Yes. And here's another one. Open my eyes that I may behold the wonderful things from your law. Psalms 119, 18. And then Matthew 13, 16. But blessed are your eyes because they see and your ears because they hear. And speak that over yourself. So I speak it right now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, God, that your word cannot return void. That anyone's eyes, Father, that cannot mm -hmm. see, Father, they, if they believe, right. if they have the faith of a mustard seed, that yes. they will see. So right now, that's I right. have faith. We are, are in mm -hmm. agreement yes. right now. Yes, and we believe, right. we believe. And we call forth that those yes. eyes will see right Thank now you know, we'll in the name the of Jesus. Lines. A cornea will be attached. That's you'll have right. brand new eyes. Thank you, Jesus. And thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. We praise you and thank believe you, in Lord. Jesus' name. Yeah. You know, when we've prayed things like that before, we've it's had happened. people come up to yeah. us and out of wheelchairs. And, yeah. a, and a man said he went to it's every happened. every healer and mm -hmm. Betty, all these people. And he said he tuned in to watch God's view one day. Not that, And I'm not saying that we're somebody. It's just that obviously hooked up in the now or something happened. I don't know. But God totally healed him. And he was walking it. again. You know, the lady with the wheelchair that came up to you at a meeting, totally out of the wheelchair. And she was in it all of her life. It was out of the wheelchair five years before she told us, but <laughs> whatever. <laughs> you know, okay. I mean, yeah, that's yeah, a great thank, testimony for yeah. five years. Yes. Yeah, thank yeah. you, yeah. Jesus. There are people out there who are so concerned about their life and whether they'll have a long life, and they think they're not going to have a long life. And the reason you think that is because your whole family have died at a young age. Mm. Wow. But you, That's right. you are born again. Mm -hmm. And so when you get born again, you get a new DNA. That's right. Yes. It's That's the right. DNA of Jesus. That's right. And I want to point out a couple of scriptures to you. Like Psalm 91 mm. says, with a long life will I prosper. Yeah. yeah. That's God's promise to you. That's right. So all things have been passed away, you've been born again, don't think in terms of, of what your, happened to your mother or father or anyone in yeah. your family. Think in terms that you are a new creature in Christ 
and you're going to receive the best from him. That's you know, right. in 3 Kings 14, uh, Hezekiah went to the Lord and wanted more days of life. And mm -hmm. the Lord Thank told him that if you walk in my statutes yeah. and Amen. in my commandments, I will give you a length of days mm -hmm. and you know that's really for for all of us of yeah. course we all we all have the dna of the yeah. lord but that is one of the gifts of being a born again believer just stand on his word and and you will receive and you know um uh, what ta speaking again about what you say about yourself and your healing and all that kind of stuff it's a mm -hmm. big deal to believe I remember years ago, and this was at a different place that my husband, when we had our satellite company, there was somebody who worked at the um, store above, and he just was angry, and his wife was born again, he wasn't, and we were born again, and she would say, oh, he, she brings something home, he, she'd find Bibles in the trash, anything that was mm. the gospel, ah. and he would mm -hmm. always say to us, well, I'm going to die at, you know, probably 40-something, because my dad did, and, and that, you yeah. know, it was just oh, hateful, and he's one of our, yeah. he's one of our closest friends this day, mm. ended up bringing him to the Lord, he's still alive, <laughs> and he's way older than 40-something, because he started uh, believing yeah. God, and because if he would have kept on that path, believe me, he would have had a premature mm -hmm. death, sure. he yeah. would have died if he yeah. kept believing yeah, he that, would've. yeah, because right. mm -hmm. the, the devil, you know, wanted that, because he didn't raise up and say, oh, no, 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 right. no, and you prayed, mm -hmm. and you believed, and so you didn't have to go to the doctor, yeah. and you had the palpitations, or whoever does, mm -hmm. I mean, that's happened to probably many of us, and so you have to fight right that's away, right. and you have to mm -hmm. say, oh, no, 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 no. That's right. I'm a child of God. But, you know, it's, it's amazing. It just reminded me of his story and how God can just change your life and how they believe now for health and how they love God and go to church faithfully and, and that she has a husband that believes with her now. And, and man, he was, he was mad at God. And so, you know, it, God can change anything and then That's heal right. you mm -hmm. and, you know, just set you free. And they're just, so, they're, they're just such special, special people. And God has a miraculous plan for you. But you've got to believe it. Mm -hmm. You've got to believe it. Yeah. yeah right. I yeah, yeah, I keep feeling the, the word laziness, mm -hmm. which is not correlating with anything else, and I don't know why. But Well, God <clears throat> calls people lazy, lazy sluggards in the Bible, and they won't receive anything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Lazy sluggards. Yeah, and the Bible says that, that lazy people want much, yeah. but mm -hmm. get little, mm -hmm. while the diligent mm -hmm. prosper. Yeah. Yeah. And and he call, that's right. He calls people sluggards. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, I'm so sorry because you you really don't you don't have any work. You don't have any uh, anything to look forward to. Mm -hmm. You're you're not eating very well, and you're not sleeping well very well, and you're not you're not you're not. And I wish I could say it's a demon spirit that's got you. But the Bible says that laziness is your own free will. Mm. Yeah. And the Bible wow. says that lazy people won't eat. Yeah. And so, you know, my friend, you got to just talk yeah. to your body. You tell your yeah. body That's to right. get up. To, if, you're, if you could use a computer, look for a job. Yeah. There are so many jobs available. Mm -hmm. yeah. Take a walk. Ask God. Pray. Ask God to lead you. And he will lead you and That's show right. you uh, where to go. And not only that, but if you seek God, mm -hmm. he'll tell you what job to, to go for. That's it might right. be something very surprising to you. But God knows where you'll be happy, where yeah. you'll prosper. Mm -hmm. And you'll make connections. Motion breeds mm -hmm. motion. That's right. You just lay there and do nothing. You get more tired. You get more mm. weary and you right. feel less respect for yeah. yourself. Yeah, yeah but that's But we it. were no created to be themselves. productive. Yeah. Productive, right. yeah. And and so you Makes have us feel ability. Better. Yes. God Makes is feel saying better. that He has gifted you, and you just have to step out in faith. But talk to your body. Don't let it another yeah. minute go by. Mm -hmm. I know it's kind of getting late now, but that's okay. It doesn't matter. Just get up and and get that motion going. Yes. If nothing more, get with God. Start walking the ground yeah. and asking God yeah. what it is, 
what door he's going to open, how you're supposed to find this great job. And also, I feel like the Lord is saying, get to church. Get to mm. church. Get in a Bible study. Let other people be around yeah. other people. You're mm. isolating yourself from everybody, and that's where the devil yeah. wants you. Mm -hmm. that's, right. that's where the devil is speaking into your mind and telling you all these negatives. He's telling you, oh, you're so tired. You don't have the strength to work. You can't do it. It's a lie. It's you a tell lie. the devil, mm -hmm. shut up. And every assignment you have over me yes. is finished. Yes. I am right. not uh -huh. lazy. I am yeah. a person of God. And uh, make Jesus the Lord of your That's life. Right. And then go for it. You know, Amen. Alana, yeah. what's happened to this person? God just gave me the biggest word, enabling. Well, Somebody keeps enabling oh. you. And yes. you keep, they keep paying That's your good. bills. They keep paying your way. Wow. They keep doing yeah. everything. Yeah. And they're enabling you. So it makes it easy for you to be even lazier. That's a right. lazy sluggard. And God wants you to stop it. He wants yes. you to repent. He wants you to have respect for yourself yeah. and respect for them people. Because you've yeah. taken money from your uh, parents, your grandparents, mm -hmm. and you've just you're mm -hmm. sucking everybody dry. They've bought yeah. cars and houses and all this stuff, and you're you're sucking everybody dry. Mm -hmm. And I know somebody even in um you know well I, I can't say that somebody that has done that you know on, on my side of the family, and you know uh, and other sides of the family. Yeah, and, right. and I watched parents. And grandparents and everybody like go broke <laughs> because they're mm. getting all of that. And God wants you to respect yourself mm -hmm. and respect Amen. them and quit being enabled. And He's going to bless mm -hmm. you like nobody else. Yeah. Amen. When you were talking, I was thinking of the oh, word we gotta, entitlement. We gotta go. You are not, God expects got, you to be productive. Yeah. yeah. Amen. We gotta go, but that was good. It's true, because they do, you get entitled. You get so yeah. thinking everybody owes you, and you just get shifted mm -hmm. and just awful. Mm -hmm. but yeah. Listen, if you don't know Jesus today, Oh my goodness, just ask him mm -hmm. in your heart. <laughs> He's waiting for you. He's waiting for you just the way you are. Please right. don't try to change. Yeah. You know, you guys can go on a journey and if he wants something cleaned up, you'll get something cleaned up, mm -hmm. you know. But just ask him to come into your heart, be the Lord of your life, forgive yeah. you of your sins because you have to get forgiveness of the sins. He died for that. He died for that. And you just got to believe that he did. And then he rose again. He's coming back to take us to heaven for eternally. Mm -hmm. And so, won't you be one of them today? We want you to come to heaven and see you there when we come. And it, it, you, listen, people tell you, hell's a party. It's no party. Mm -hmm. You don't want to go there. No. Trust me, it's awful. And then ask yeah, Jesus. If you asked him into your heart today, he's the baptizer of the Holy mm -hmm. Spirit. And with fire, just ask him to baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire to give you the power to walk this out. And uh, it's the same spirit that raised Christ Jesus mm -hmm. from the dead. That's right. You know? And he wants to baptize you so you can just oof, really live this life with power. Yeah, okay. yeah, Go to our website today, please. Get a product. Help us keep coming into your home and around the world with the gospel of Jesus Christ. You know, this is great anointing oil. It is just really good. And who doesn't need it? And it's a great, great gift. What a great gift. Well, we've got to go. But anyways, we love you. Jesus loves you more. Remember, God does have a view. God does have a view personally for you. Thank you for joining us. Going around the globe for the gospel of Jesus.